Okay, so what did God uh, accomplish by the sending of Jesus according to the Quran? From the Quranic point of view, Jesus uh, is uh, one of the messengers of God, similar to the messengers of God uh, from and prophets in the Old Testament. Uh, Jesus is uh, known from Islamic tradition to be a mighty prophet, one of the five who are called Ulul Azam. Uh, but this is not mentioned in the Quran. Nonetheless, the Quran uh, mentions that he is the Messiah. Uh, he is uh, a servant and a prophet uh, of God. And he came uh, to deliver a message confirming that uh, which was previously delivered uh, and was there in, in the Torah. So Jesus speaks and says uh, that uh, he came to confirm that which is before him in the Torah. And in order to make lawful some of the things which were previously made unlawful. Perhaps this is a, a, a reference to uh, Jesus in the New Testament saying that uh, some things were prohibited only because of the hardness of the hearts of the people, uh, but Jesus is making it permissible now. Or uh, I think it's the contrary, that uh, some things were uh, for some things were permissible, but now Jesus is making it forbidden. The Quranic uh, perspective is slightly different, that uh, things may have been previously forbidden, but Jesus is making that permissible, which means that he is abrogating uh, some of the uh, New Testament uh, uh, some of the Old Testament law. And uh, that, uh, uh, in, in a nutshell, we find uh, represented in Matthew's Gospel where Jesus says, uh, do not think I've come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to uh, fulfill. So uh, Jesus, on whom be peace, according to the Quran, is fulfilling uh, that which was there before him of the prophetic teachings. Jesus, therefore, was a worshiper of God, a preacher of monotheism, a preacher that there is only one God, the one God whom Jesus fell on his face and worshipped. Yeah, so what did Jesus accomplish according to the Bible? Shabir has mentioned that Jesus uh, referred to the Father as his God. He worshipped the Father. And all of this, of course, is part and parcel of the Christian view that Jesus as the second person of the Trinity, became incarnate and for us men and our salvation rendered his life as an atoning sacrifice for sinners. The same Jesus who referred to the Father as his God, noticed the Father as his God, uh, also referred to himself as the Son of the Father and did so in such a way as to demonstrate that he was the Son by nature, not merely by grace or adoption. Jesus in John 5, 17 claimed to be the Son of the Father in such a way as to coordinate his works with those of the Father. He said that his works were co-determinous with the Father's works through out all past ages. So the sonship of Jesus that he possessed and he came into the world possessing and uh, through that revealed the father. This is one of the climactic things that Jesus did. But he not only revealed the father to us, he made it possible for us to know the father and approach the father. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Nobody I'm comes to the father, but by me.